Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make mob spawners that spawn entities up to four at a time on a random uh, tick update. It's very similar to how regular mob spawners work and you get a little bit experience from basically destroying the, uh, the spawner itself. So uh, a lot of the features are implemented. Uh, there's still some features that I wouldn't mind adding in the future, but uh, that's for a, a, definitely a future project um, because the main thing that I want to add is mob egg support but uh, they're a little bit finicky in this particular version right now so uh, we're just going to uh, definitely test this out and um, I'll show you how to make this and set this all up so let's get started so there are very few little blocks uh, there's only two blocks you're going to need the blocks well one block really um, the one for your to actually spawn the thing I have two examples here just to kind of show you uh, how they all work uh, you're also going to need um, four procedures for the both breaking cycles and one for or three procedures depending on how many blocks um, both for the breaking cycles and as well as the actual update tick for the spawning mechanics. So let's hop into the uh, creeper spawner and we'll take a look how everything's set up. So I am using a custom model just to display the um, the actual uh, type of entity inside. You'll see in just a second, like when we go into the test environment, how it all works. I'll leave the the model itself uh, available in the uh, workspace so you guys can use that if you want to. Um, Alright, so uh, basically the custom model, um, no type of rotation, I have transparency enabled as well as cutout because it's a custom model. Block size is um, the default, so that's all good. Now. I've named it Mob Spawner uh, Creeper. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. You can go Creeper Mob Spawner or whatever your little heart desires. Uh, but the material for the spawner is glass as well as the sound on step is glass. Uh, the type of creative inventory I have it under is redstone. And the default um, spawner properties for hardness and resistance is uh, 5 and 25. So the update tick, this is how you're going to um, delay the uh, spawning intervals. Uh, what you want is around 500. This will, um, I think, offset it every 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Let me just confirm that. 25 seconds, which is about the default for a spawner. Um, spawners generally range anywhere from uh, I think like 15 or something like that to 35 or something so it's right smack in the middle of where it should be uh, spawning at uh, repeatedly uh, as far as the ore directory I have that disabled and the color on the map is iron because I didn't see glass in here so I'm not sure if glass is a thing. I see grass, but not glass. So I don't know if that's um, like what a spawner would look like on the map or not. So we'll just leave it as is. Uh, all these things are default. Uh, the doesn't drop itself. I actually have the drop amount um, set to zero because we don't want it to be picked up and affected by silk touch is disabled. We also want the tool tool able to destroy to be a pickaxe and the tool harvest level to be one. This can also be zero if you wish. Um, as far as the rest of the settings it's all default. Now no particles actually yeah that's right I'm using particles in the procedure so that's a little bit different. It doesn't require an inventory and as I said before you're going to need both breaking um, procedures and one update tick. So let's hop into the update tick and see how all that works. 
Okay, so the update tick has um, particles that will spawn every time that it tries to do a, um, a spawn. So if that's, that will always happen because spawners do that normally. However, there's a condition in here that will detect if there's, um, uh, I believe, if the light level is um, at the coordinates um, x plus 1, which this actually should be 2. I'll make sure to update the um, workspace. So these should be 2. Oh wait, no, hold on a second. Uh, one, 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 and one. There's two down here, so that's... Um, basically, the, the one is next to the spawner. This is testing if the spawner is um, equal or less than seven. Um, so it has to be pretty dark uh, for mobs to actually spawn within the range of it. However, I have the, the mob spawner at, um, like, mob spawning at uh, the coordinates offsetted by two. So I'm also testing for if it's equal or um, less than uh, seven. So that's basically all that, that it's doing up here. Um, there's only four mob spawns per block. So basically what it's going to be doing is it's going to be testing for air uh, at the coordinates where the mob's going to be spawning, top and bottom. And then what it's going to do is basically spawn that mob there. So if there's air there, then there, it'll spawn it. And that will continue four times on every side of the actual block. So all these are separate, as you can see here. So it's going to actually test for these conditions as well um, simultaneously. So it's going to do all four of them at, at a time. Um, now you could, in all technicality, I might make a second version in the future, but make this random and have, uh, say, one always spawn in a certain location and then have the rest random as well. Uh, this would um, work as well, but uh, I didn't have the time to actually work on it because I've been busy on the server and stuff. So um, other than that, um, that's the update tick. So I'm just going to uh, exit out of this. And the next thing that we need to look at is the breaking mechanics. And both of these are the same, so we'll just take a quick look at one of them. So if you're not aware, um, breaking a spawner will actually give you a little bit of XP depending on a random percent. Now this uh, system here will vary depending on how much experience you get. Um, the default, I think, is anywhere from 15 to 43 experience when you break a, um, a mob spawner. So I've basically, what I've done here is I've created a um, multi-testing system where it will randomize and then it'll go, okay, is um, the value... Um, basically equal or greater than 5%, which is a 50% chance. And if it is, then it's going to do that procedure. But if it's not, then it's going to go on to the next uh, condition, which is the same thing. And if that's true, then it's a 50% chance. It'll give 20 and so on. So it'll go all the way down until it reaches 43% or 43 experience. So that's basically how that works. It's pretty simple and it will give you experience every time because the last one is always 43. So if we open up the other one, it's basically this exact same thing, exact same thing. It's just um, under a different procedure type uh, because they're a little bit different. This one allows you to target entities where this one doesn't. So. I just wanted to keep those separate. All right, so if we um, move next, it doesn't have any world generation. You could probably put this in structures and other things like that for it to generate in. Um, that would work just fine. And you, with the system that, um, with the update tick, well, 
you're able to set your own uh, mobs as well. So if you have your own mobs, it will show up at the top. So you'll be able to make your own custom spawners and stuff for dungeons and things like that. So we'll just save this and then we'll hop in game. Alright, so these are the custom models that I've created. Um, they're decent um, design. I might upgrade the actual texturing and stuff like that uh, for some of these um, models. As you can see, it gives off particles every time that it um, tries to spawn something, but if it's too light, then it won't spawn anything, but still give the particles. Uh, if we turn this to uh, time set night, then you'll be able to see this in action. It'll kind of just, um, okay, it should spawn, it's probably not uh, dark enough yet. I'm trying to see the light level, or is light, light 15 still? That's not right, is it? Maybe it's just too light. Should be going down pretty soon. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, they um, they do spawn, and um, yeah, it'll sp it'll try spawning uh, four at a time. But because there was this block right here, it didn't spawn the um, the third creeper. Um, but it did spawn uh, three and three. So if we were to move this. Um, and go slash kill at e uh, I think it's like type equals creeper okay that didn't work okay so we can start off brand new I guess uh, we're redstone and creeper so we'll spawn them that's not good. Okay, we'll go over here, and I guess this is similar to where we were. Place this down. It will spawn four because it has all four blocks on this side that it can spawn at. So it'll just take a second. As you can see, that's their spawning locations, pretty much. So this, uh, and as you can see, it also gives you XP when you break it. So outside of that, uh, that's basically how it all works. It's pretty uh, straightforward and simple. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, uh, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.